to be a Manchester United player until June 2028. Double-handed wave, David May, what a feeling that must be. He must be absolutely buzzing. He really must be. I mean, it's, it's took taking time getting over the line, but he's been absolutely buzzing. I remember the rank coming out. It's a similar, very similar reception. Um, potentially, it could be an absolute world beater. He's only young kid, he's only 20. Um, but Eric Tanag knows what he's doing. He knows that. He's not going to start to go, but he will work with it. He will make him a better player. I think Rasmus Hoyland is one for the future for Manchester United. 27 goals in 87 club appearances. He scored 10 for Atalanta last season. He's already playing for, for Denmark. Six international goals. He very, very definitely is a, a huge prospect. And you can see, he's six foot three, he's an athlete, he's tall, he is so quick, it's unbelievable. And exactly what defenders like you, David May, didn't want to have to play. And a physical player that was quick and skillful with the ball of the feet. I think United have been crying out for the last three, four, five seasons for a, for a young centre forward. But from a bit, uh, Zlatan, he really <laughs> plays with Ibrahimovic. Yeah, but not him. Um, Falcao's been here. Yeah. Um, Robin Van Persie was sensational. But now we've got a young kid coming in. And he will have some good chunk of it for uh, some action. Hopefully next next week here against Wolves. We were talking uh, before the game, weren't we, uh, about just how much goals were required at Manchester United. Right there is a, is a step towards scoring a few more this season. Let me say, just for, uh, we've now got an actual number nine. We've got three in the middle. Um, we've got a little bit of a on the right, an actual on the left. 